Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In the last episode, we eh, we met up with Seth and um, Moses, who who seems to have a little bit of the uh, brain rot going on, shall we say? Yes, yes, brain rot. Um, we also encountered a bug uh, of unlimited undead uh, pouring out of the graveyard, which I did actually look up, and yes. Yes, it is a bug, uh, an extremely um, an extremely common one with the bug DLC that uh, they patched the game with. Um, however, hopefully, now we've um, gone the extra mile and uh, loaded next to the game and whatnot. Uh, whilst I was here, I did come up to... Oh dear. Um, I did come up here and uh save this camp literally very easy to save it it's only a single wave so uh no point in recording all that to be honest so let's find a travel destination and uh, let's go to yeah mcfarlane's ranch i mean that's kind of close to where we need to be i suppose now hopefully we can um continue got loads of undead ribs and things like that so we have lots of ammo for our blunderbuss although the tomahawk uh kind of renders everything obsolete because well the tomahawk yo it's just menacingly amazing um get back in that hole partner okay that is the plan we're gonna have to try and bury all of these fools uh, also, <laughs> I did lose my horse uh, a couple of times. Uh, I'm not sure how. It just uh, came up saying, once your horse has been lost, um, you have to wait a while before you can uh, summon another one. Or, or words to that effect. Anyway, I was like, wait a minute. Lo lose the horse. When, <laughs> when did I lose the horse game? Like, you know, what's going on here? Maybe that's part of the bug. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Anyway, Ugh. it does uh, put a sour taste in my mouth, shall we say, for uh, the new one that's coming out. Um, I can only imagine ooh, the bugs and glitches that we're going to uh, enjoy, shall we say, in the new game. I guess we will wait and see, see what they, uh, see what they bring out. But then... Uh, GTA Online has been quite known for its bugs and glitches as well, so... I do love the Tomahawk. It's It makes slaying of the undead almost too easy. The only thing you, you have to worry about is how awful uh, John Marston controls. Although, it didn't go overly well for these fellows, did it? Never mind, that's some ammo, I suppose. Some free ammo. We're getting loads of undead ribs as well. and uh, We can't have too many of those. We can't have too many undead parts at all because the blunderbuss is rather fantastic. It is kind of the unsung hero of the game. It's a shame you could only have five uh, rounds for it. Uh, I mean, technically, you can have tons because you can collect all these undead ribs and, and your inventory is unlimited. So, that's quite cool. But you do have to continuously build them. Also, I found loads of herbs and things on the way to the last place. So, we do have quite a bit of that um, uh, phosphorus ammo on tap, should we need it. However, sadly, you don't seem to get a lot of it uh, in each application. Which, considering how questionably overpowered it is, is, is understandable, you know. It is extremely, extremely powerful stuff. Uh, and I approve of it. But then I suppose, given the requirements of what you need to actually make the stuff, um, it's understandable. Uh, that it would have to be very overpowered, otherwise what would be the point? Anywho, let's keep going back to the graveyard. And hopefully, hopefully we can evict these undead. Spent a tiny, tiny bit of time off uh, camera as well, looking for 
uh, war again, seems we're in the area, and no, I can't find him. Apparently you can fi still find them, I did look it up, if you lose them. Uh, but they don't show up on the map. Once you've already found them once, the game won't say there is a mythical creature close to your location. Which is a big old bag of smelly ass, if you ask me. Um, but it doesn't matter too much because we will get all of them at the end of the game, hopefully. But uh, obviously having um, all of the mythical horses at the end of the game is, well, fairly redundant, to be honest. You don't need them at the end of the game. You need them whilst you're playing the game. Alrighty. Burn the coffins. That we should be able to do. Oh, it's raining as well. That's nice. Nice bit of ambience here. Burn it all. Okay, and you. Now, this is going to be interesting. Place your bets. Are we going to get a bug? Is everything going to go swimmingly? Uh, one way to find out. I do like the fact that we get loads of ammo from these coffins. Um, I don't know why. John just did a 180 there and walked into all the zombies. I've started to not question uh, John's motives. And the way he moves, it's just horribly broken. Uh, also very hard sometimes to run away from zombies because your your C John is just fumbling and falling over the bodies. An alarming rate. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, there we go. Yeah, nice. Oh, we got a nice little storm as well. This is very nice. Alright, well, let's go. Any more? Of course there's more. There's always more. And we're stuck on a bloody graveyard thing. What do you call them? Sign, yes. Okay, how many exactly are there? Because it's not coming up with the red indicators. Um, which is problematic. Yeah, they are just spawning unlimitedly again. Uh, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure the last time we did this, uh, which admittedly was the first um, mission of the game, pretty much. I'm pretty sure when there was only a few enemies left, kind of like the towns, they should be highlighted in red. Unless there just literally is like thousands of zombies here. Which I find hard to believe. I'm going to be honest. Oh, here we go. Yes. That didn't happen before. Died alone. Oh. Kill Mrs. Horsley. And the rest of the undead. Here we go. So this is the event that didn't activate. Well, she's dead. Unceremoniously. Hello, my lover. A little bit of, a, of an axe for your neck there. So I guess we've... Hey, Cooch Chapel cleansed. Right. So we have to go on until we uh, activate some kind of boss. Okay, I can, I can handle that. That's cool. The whole idea oh, we didn't get anything cool for killing her, though, which is kind of unfortunate. I mean, I guess we did. We got loads of undead parts. Undead parts are always good. The only problem with it is, uh, of course... Ooh, fire bottles. Damn it, we maxed out on fire bottles. That's not good. Uh, we don't really need to loot all of these bodies, I suppose. We've got undead ears. Okay, so we can load the undead ears into the blunderbuss. Uh, this is something that I, I approve of. Quite significantly, actually. I like the idea of blasting the undead with their own, dead, their own body parts. Um, the only problem is, uh, due to the nature of the undead, I, uh, the comedy of the situation is lost on them. Sadly. They can't appreciate the the fact that we are shooting bits of them back at them, sadly. Anyway, one down. Look, can you fucking hoard? Ah, Jesus Christ. Look, get 
get here? Why are you running away from me? Yes, I appreciate I could have pushed up on the D-pad to just summon him, but, um... Eh. Right. Odd fellow's rest. Let's go. Now, I'm hoping that we can do all of this in one shot. And this won't balk out on us. However, the bugs, there's no rhyme or reason to them. They, they just... Completely random. You can be fine one minute and then um, then bugged out the next. But once the bugs do start appearing, you, the game does slowly cascade um, quite rapidly into a completely unwinnable state. Oh, well, aren't you kind? The only problem, my friend, is... I don't like that kind of stuff. Damn cannibals. What did you have for me? No, 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 don't sit. Don't sit. And he may have been a tubby one, but you don't really want to eat gristle, man. It's no good for you. You want nice lashings of lean meat. Horse. Sparkles. Get your fucking ass back here, Sparkles. Honestly. Anyway, let's go. Yes, we, we clear these crazies out when we can, because I'm not really sure they're much better for society than the undead, to be honest. So, uh... Ooh, hello. Is that sage? We probably need sage. That is sage, I think. Uh, if I could pick it. There we go. Ooh, I don't know. Is that sage? Red sage. Doesn't matter what sage we have, any sage will count. Come on, Sparkles. Let's go, buddy. Ad Victorium. One thing I wouldn't mind to check, actually. What? If we go to our journal and our challenges, kill 25 more bruisers and 15 more wretches. This has been like it for ages. I don't know if this is still. I don't know if this is bugged out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what bruises are. I think they're the big guys that charge you. However, I'm not 100% sure. If that's the case, then possibly. I know what wretches are. They're the ones that spit the goo at you. Ooh. 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 Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think wretches and spitters actually... Um, well, wretches and bruises spawn that often. Which is unfortunate. Because they are the ones we need. Ooh, who are you? Ah, you're the guy that I need. Hello, friend. Please don't shoot me in the back with a Gatling gun. Thank you. Right, what do you want? Excellent. Um... Yes, you are. Sorry about the smell. I'm running low on research subjects, so I'll gladly resupply it if you can get me some monsters to experiment. I would love to. Uh, okay. All right. I'll see what I can do. See, we only need to find a undead. Remember, we was on this last time, and we couldn't find an undead, which was a little bit of a pain. And by a little bit of a pain, I mean a significant pain. Now. Luckily, the gorge was here somewhere. I have a horrible feeling that we're going to find ourselves in the same situation where we're not going to be able to find any undead. Hmm. That's where we need to go. Is that going to be too far away? Oh, no, there we go. Right, we only need one of these ladies. So, you can die. You, you can come with me. There we go. There's nothing wrong with the idea of reincarnation, my friend. It is an interesting thought. Right, now, come here. 
you're not going to thank me for the evil deeds that are about to happen to you. But, you know. Alright, let's put you on the horse. Technically, you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Um, ride the horse. Now, if you could be quiet, young lady, I'd appreciate it. I don't need the moan. Ah, oh, you silly horse. You know what? Horsey, bring me my victim back. Did I say victim? I did, didn't I? Technically, she's not a victim. Technically, she is a piece of rotten meat. That is now, hopefully, going to get us a map. Hello, my friend. Here's a nice, juicy one for you. Um, buddy, nice, uh, this thank you. Good science demands contingency, though. Can you obtain another? <sighs> you want another one? Okay. Maybe that's what we did wrong last time. Let's go. Maybe we, we actually... Yeah, needed more than one. And I jumped the gun a little bit. That's certainly possible. We've got an undead wolf there. Don't really need the wolf. We've got bloody coyotes there too, which is slightly awkward. Hmm. God damn it. You would have thought that in a plague of the undead, a couple of zombies would have been fairly easy to find. I guess not. And I don't want to get too far away from him because you can fail the quest that way. Ah, perfect. Hello, my friend. Do you mind if I requisition your body? Yes, I know. Let's just get this over with. There we go. Hog tie you. And then we can go next chopping. Right, there we go. Pick up the undead. That's fine. Alright, run, 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 run. Cool. Uh, oh god. There we are. Please don't die, John. Sparkles, please don't get in the way. Shit, we're running out of health. Because of course we are. Oh god. Um. Oh god. Lock on system does not even attempt to work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if anyone wondering, hey, why don't you just do uh, use the lock on system? Um, I try to use it fairly regularly, but uh, it just does not work. Which is why. I generally don't use it, because, you know, you're just wasting your time. Again, I don't actually remember the lock-on system being that bad in this game. I don't know if that's a product of this bug as well. I may need to do some research on that. Hey, buddy, can you just carry my victim for me? There we go. Now, is two dead corpses enough for you to play with, sir? I mean, that is a lot of meat. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, if the lock-on system worked, I imagine the... Um, come on. I'd imagine the tomahawks would be massively more useful. Can I get the... the, the there we go. That, that's jumping, John. There we go. Oh, the control system in this game. Alright. There you go, buddy. Please don't say you want another one. Hope this helps your research, mister. Wow, you really hit the muzzle load, I see. I can learn a lot from these thingamabobs. I, I hope so. We got snake oil for that. We got snake oil. God damn it. Did we get the map? 
We got nothing from his box. That's not right. Uh... Oh, we do have a treasure map here. What one is this? So that's the train station. I mean, we can pan and move it, but there's no point. So we've got the train station, yeah. Which is by where you start the game, I believe. Okay. Well, when did we get the map? Pretty sure I checked a few videos ago and we didn't have it. Although, I, I definitely could be wrong about that. Right, let's go. Let's go cleanse this uh, graveyard. Wow, this, uh, this is a bigger graveyard, John. Now, I don't want to start off sounding like a negative Nancy. But, uh, oh my. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. The power of Christ compels us. Apparently. I kick ass for the Lord. There we go. That's some pretty strong stuff. Apparently. You know, I remember in church actually once, because I used to be forced to go to church. Um... <laughs> And um, I believe someone at one point did uh, say something about burning Bibles. Uh, one of the, the kids. Just, you know, out of curiosity. And apparently it's um, like a really bad thing, you know, like how God will look down on you, blah, 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 blah. I, I forget exactly what he said. Um, but we actually did burn a load of them at one point. When we were kids, just because it was funny. And, uh, well, I guess we're still waiting for that, uh, that punishment, I suppose. For burning Bibles. It was actually, uh, when I was working in town, uh, a few days ago. A few days ago, it was actually more like a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, during the Lantern Parade, there was loads of God Squad in town. And, uh, they kept trying to give us Bibles. I'm like, buddy, I, I'm, you know, to start off with, I was actually quite nice about it. I was like, yeah, sorry, man, I, I'm good. Uh, I'm a non-believer. And they get really persistent. And it takes a lot to hold back the, uh, the, the wanting to tell someone to stick their Bibles up their ass. And they're like, but they're free. And it's like, yeah, but I, I still don't want one, thank you. It's like, are you sure they're free? I mean, not often you get a free book. It's like, yeah, but if somebody handed me a lump of dog shit and told me that that was free. I still wouldn't take it. Ooh, Pete Turner. I guess we could say Pete Turner has turned. I mean, if he was handing out, say, uh, Terry Pratchett, for instance, for free, I, w I would say thank you very much. You know, that's pretty jolly decent of you, uh, chap. I will certainly have a copy. But you have to ask yourself, if, if you're handing out something that you can't give away for free, um, and nobody's taking them, you have to wonder. Old Fellow's Rest is now cleansed. Excellent. Oh, hello. Oh, what are you doing here? That's kind of strange. Now, I have no uh, issue with people believing in religion. Whichever of the gods you choose is yours, you know. There's, there's, there's a lot of them to pick from, you know. Roll a dice, maybe. Um, but it's when you stick it down uh, other people's throats that I have an issue with that. Oh, you're dead. Now... What else do we have here? There we go. This is really rough. Okay, that was actually fairly lucrative. I can't be bothered to search that guy. Buddy, why are you in a graveyard? 
Okay. Now, this graveyard is cleansed. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. Um, but we don't know if burning these to the ground, these coffins, and cleansing the undead is actually going to, to keep them dead forever, you know? I'm very curious to see where this story is going. I mean, is this how we stop the undead? Because this seems like a very easy way to stop the undead. Just burn the graveyards. I mean, one man can do it. But then John isn't really just one man, is he? He is a legend of the West. Desert Sage, very nice. We haven't needed to use our ammo yet. Now, did we manage... No, we still haven't done any more of that yet. You've killed 25 out of 25. Ah, so it's the wretches we need. Okay. And to be fair, the wretches um, have been quite rare. I don't know whether we're going to see them spawn later on. Uh, or whether they're more mission based. I guess we shall find out. Yeah, man. There we go. Ridgewood Farm is looking dapper as hell. Oh, I wish they'd remake this game in HD. I reckon that they won't remake this game because uh, if they did, they would have to fix the bugs. And uh, obviously. There's no profit in fixing the bugs, is there? I suppose they could just re-release it with all the bugs intact. And say that they're features. Bethesda likes doing that. And I love Bethesda's games. Bethesda is one of my favourite uh, developers slash publishers. Their RPGs are top, tip, top. Uh, and I still haven't f uh, finished Fallout, actually. Fallout 4. I did uh, buy all the DLC Oof. last year. And uh, I don't even think I've started the DLC. So, we really should get a, get a crack on with that. Oh, what's that? You need spare time for these things. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot. I'm sorry. Now, let's go and have a little look. What do we have? Hmm. Burn, burn, burn. Hey, zombies. Do you have an issue with me burning your, your coffins? You do? Well, come at me, bro. Give me your best shot. Uh-oh. Please do not walk into the coffins, John. I have no doubt that one day you shall find yourself in one of those. You're, you know, I, I've seen the future. I know how it's going to go down. The ending uh, to this game was very, very sad and very, very good at the same time. But, you know, Rockstar has always been uh, incredibly good at telling uh, a story. At least most of the time. There are exceptions to this, of course. Come on, guys. Step right up. Who's the boss of this graveyard? I am <laughs> dying to know. There we go. Uh-oh. There we go. And again. What do you mean, just try and bite me again? They are biting you, John. And they're kind of succeeding. That one doesn't have a head. Neither does that one. Well, it looks like the game is bugged again. We almost had 20 minutes of bug-free action. Almost. There we go. Now, are we going to get lucky? Has it bugged enough to stop the boss spawning? That's the crucial question here. I am going to say probably, which is kind of a massive pain in the ass. Yeah, it seems that way. In which case, 
Well, we're on half an hour. God damn it, seriously? The bugs are starting to get on my nerves. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, god damn it. And John does like to try and attack the dead bodies instead of the, uh, the living dead bodies. Which is a little bit concerning, you know? Ooh, I've got a right little conga line here. Fire bottle, undead bait. No! Fire bottle. No, we want the bait. Undead bait, there we go. Right, go cool, guys. Go get it. Go get it. Ooh. Can we get... If we get one more on fire... Oh, we can't even go for that achievement because, you know, not being able to see the uh, bodies and all that. Yep, the boss isn't spawning. God damn it. Um... Right, okay guys, well, in that case, due to more bugs, we are going to have to end this video. And when we come back, I will be back at this graveyard. I return to the graveyard, yes. Yes, what's the point, game? Oh man, ooh. Oh. Well, that was satisfying. I mean, it's fairly good. Uh, it's actually a fairly good bug if you want to harvest the zombies. Like, infinitely. Um, you know, if you've got like all the time in the world. Burn the co- oh, hang on. So if you escape, it resets. If it res- does that reset the bug? Let's just have a quick retry a minute. I'm not going to hold my breath. Because I have zero faith in, in this game. But we are going to try. Okay, one coffin left. They definitely do get a little bit shirty about the fact that you're burning their coffins. They still don't have heads, which is fine. Alright, but can we kill all these zombies? And I also get the feeling that there's too many of them. I, ah, there is someone shooting as well. Which is leading me to believe. Yeah, because I don't think if the game is running properly, they uh, keep endlessly spawning. As soon as you kill one, you can hear the coffins breaking open. Pretty sure that doesn't happen if the game's running properly. No, they're all just spawning out again, yeah. Yep, okay. So it is going to be a reload the game jobby. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end it here and I'm going to reload the game. When we return, well, once more we're feeling, I suppose. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.